on and off the episode of Tales from the Porch Swing. My porch swings broke, so I'm going to have to do it from a rocking chair. The coronavirus, it's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine pandemic of 2020. Essential business. Why well, I slowed my roll. And dating advice from Papa. <coughs> so, my wife called me today and <coughs> wanted me to go look up at the Dollar General see if I had any hamburger meat. And I walked in there and it looked like they were cleaning up a meth lab. All these people had on face masks and gloves. Walking around. This little old boy had a full-blown gas mask on. You could barely see his eyes. Old girl up at the counter had on these gloves and I said something to her. She said, well, I've got them on for my own personal reasons. I said, well, just wash your hands before you pick your nose and I think you'll be all right. <laughs> so I wanted to take all of them and just shake them and say, look, man, y'all got a better chance of getting killed in a car wreck coming over here than you do of catching that mess here at the Dollar General in the county where they've only had like seven, seven confirmed cases of it. So the governor, he's shutting down all kinds of stuff. And, of course, automotive repair is deemed essential business, so we're going to stay open. I mean, I got to, but. Somebody called me and said something about being essential. Or I said, yeah. I said, the bank called me and said it was essential. I stay open and pay my bills because if I didn't, it's going to come start picking shit up. So <laughs> the, I don't watch the news. I do like every other normal red-blooded American. I get my news from gossip and hearsay. <laughs> That's where I get my news from. They're supposed to be in the house now by 5 o'clock. We're shut down all kinds of non-essential businesses. I guess the nerds are sitting at home. That's good old boys that work normal jobs that ain't college boys <laughs> out busting ass like always. Ever since I discovered alcohol at a young age, <laughs> I've liked its intoxicating effects. and I have slowed my roll over the years. It took me a while to slow my roll, but I have slowed my roll a lot. But a few stories of, I'll tell you a story too. why I slowed my roll. I've got uh, some buddies and we go camping for the opening every trout season. They call it Hatch. Hung over Appalachian trout catching hillbillies. <laughs> so one year I went up to Hatch and I'd worked all day and they're like, you got to catch up, you got to catch up. So I started pounding margaritas, I think is what we were drinking that night and drinking beer on top of it. And I woke up in the middle of the night in my tent and my arm felt like it was a sleep. <laughs> Well, I made it to the car because I was freezing. I was got in the car and turned the heat on. Went back to sleep and I woke up the next morning and my, my arm wouldn't work. My hand wouldn't move. I didn't know what had happened, man. One of them boys said, I guess it's when you fell upside down that road to Denver and we had to pull you back upright. So, so, one of my buddies was getting married and we were taking him to Charleston before the wedding and we are just doing a guy's weekend and we left on a Wednesday or Thursday. I can't remember. We were going to stay all weekend. <laughs> they picked me up about 9 o'clock, and I was already three bush lights in. So you know it's going to be a good trip. <laughs> so we get down there. And we have a good time at first night. And we lay around the next day all hung over. And the next night we go out. And man, we're, I mean, it's, me and them old boys, we've had nights that make the hangover look like preschool. So <laughs> we're out. We're having a good time. Somehow we make it back to our hotel, and it was a brown out the next morning. I woke up in the bathtub in the shower. The shower was on, and I was laying in the shower. And I woke up, and I looked around. I started feeling for my kidneys, make sure they hadn't cut my kidneys or my, anything out of me. And I turned the water off. I got out of the shower, and I grabbed the towel, and I walked out, and I was <laughs> in my room. And then I started piecing it back together a little bit. So after some of those instances, I thought I better start slowing my roll. I had some customers give me a bottle of Grey Goose one time. And I went home and I always take a shower after work because I'm nasty. And I was mowing. So I thought, I'm going to mow the yard. Well, I started mowing the yard and I started drinking. Well, next thing you know, I was, <laughs> I was passed out. So I can get up the next morning. I didn't take a shower. Get up the next morning. I start. I need to finish the yard start mowing again, start drinking again. <laughs> Fast out, I finally got up Sunday morning, took a shower, man. That was a rough weekend, so. 
Yeah, I've smoked my rolls. So I, <laughs> I don't. I just. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't. I don't want to be an alcoholic. I don't. Want, I don't want to be that dude. <laughs> so, I like liquor. Liquor likes me, but nobody likes me in liquor. So, <laughs> we just, I just slowed my roll big time. <laughs> my papa, one time, a girlfriend broke up with me. And I was moping around the house, and he's always full of wit and wisdom. <laughs> and he, he used to lay out he has an old glider he had an old glider and I've got it here at my house now and I'll sit on it son but Papa's always sitting on his glider and I come in I was moping had my lip run out because my girlfriend broke up with me or something he was laying there he said well he said I'll tell you what you do he said you do like I've done he's telling about some old gal he's a date and he said she broke up with me so he said you know what I've done I dated every sister and every cousin and every friend she had for about six weeks, and then I dropped every one of them. <laughs> it has nothing to do with none of them after that. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was, <laughs> so if your gal breaks up with you, what you do, you go out with all her sisters and all her cousins and all her friends for about six weeks, then you just drop all of them, go get you another one, start all over again. <laughs> that was Papa's advice. But, I'm going to do like every other central business owner and get my ass to bed <laughs> so I can get up in the morning and go work my essential job to keep this country rolling. I reckon it's time to piss on the fire and call the dogs. I'll see you on the flip. <laughs>